Good question in the chat, and uh, we'll talk about uh, beating quarterback spies. So um, let's do this real quick. I'm going to go with a passing formation Gibbs. Go with quarters, quarter, three deep, two man under. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go to this. Four words. So first up. Puff Daddy asked, not the real Puff Daddy, I don't think, but Puff Daddy 14 asked, you know Puff Daddy? what is with this quarters, two men under, everyone's running, what are the setups? So everybody contains, mm -hmm. they then spy generally the guy on the left side of the screen, and then they user the middle linebacker. So this is how people set up their two men under, and it's just very difficult to beat. So Puff, that's what you're seeing, that's what people do. There's a lot of adjustments. There's a lot of uh, sending the spy with the right stick, click it, don't flick it. Uh, there's a lot of you got to press against compressed sets. You've got to do different things, but generally the big dime or this quarters, like this is what you'll see out there. You saw D. Jones run something like this. It's no secret. We've shown it before. So how do you take advantage of that quarterback spy? Because I'm going to snap the ball to Russell Wilson. Jared Allen's going to go. He's going to track me. Gibbs can send that spy uh, anytime he wants with the right stick there. We got lucky and, and beat him. But how can we take advantage of that spy? So, oops, sorry, I didn't let you You're good. He's still spied. So there's Keekly. Like, that's ah, – I wanted to get inside right there. So I'm not recommending you fumble it and leave it for alignment. I, don't, I think that's too risky. But what people do to beat the spy generally is – they're going to stay in the pocket. So they're going to stay in the pocket. You then can't send the spy, and then I can playmaker all that I want. And once they have the spy, it basically means you can't run. Mm -hmm. Like, in old Maddens, you used to be able to run around the spy. You could do this thing called swerve the spy. You used to be able to just kind of run at the spy directly, and then you were all set. But here, the more I stay in the pocket, click the right stick down, Gibbs. Oh, so, so pressure came in there. Uh, from a different guy, but click the right stick when you shouldn't too mm -hmm. early, and then I'm gonna then I'll be able to escape. So the pocket is the spy's enemy. Yep. And so once he sends it, <laughs> you did a poor job. I did a pocket, poor job. To be honest. It. To be honest. The the Seahawks line is weak sauce. Yeah. Weak sauce. Uh, so we'll do it one more time. Let's see. It's actually stay in the pocket. So now I can go because he clicked the spy. Click it, don't flick it. And if and if they have to use her downfield and then figure out of their peripheral when to send the spy and you're just chilling in the pocket, you're going to have a lot of time. And so that works. Um, some people, like Matt Gonzo, prefer pocket passers because they'll stay in better. But, you know, I did outrun a spy with One. Vic the other day. Like that exact – I took that exact angle to outrun it. Um, One pro tip I would say I'd give here. Let me just drop this. Don't do anything. Don't scramble. Yep. If you have a quarterback contained on the edge, I just never feel like they're going to get in. I, right. Like I just, I've organically just let them be a, a monster out there. Like, like that guy's not coming in if I don't go right. right. So I never worry. Like if you're getting this, like the, the reason why we do this, and this is this is a defense we literally invented for this year, right? Like we coaxed people in RG with the pro tip on the quarterback spy. Yep. But the reason this works is because. You see the outside rush, you get one-on-one -on -one with the contain. And it naturally, like, this time he doesn't, but na it naturally makes you want to, like, go to where the, you see open space because you see all the action happen on the right. And it, it, I swear to God, I really think we need to see some type of, like, like psychology experiment on this because everybody does it like clockwork where you give it, like, it, you could do it like this. I could do the play like this, and you're going to roll to the right now because, like, all the action happens on the left, and you just like, I must go to open side of field, open space, where there's no one coming at me. Like, it's the most natural thing to do because you're like, I need to avoid the congestion. So we're designing this so that you go out and then we release the spy after you. Right. You need to stay in the pocket. If you know that's what they're doing, and this is where knowing the, the meta comes into play, boys and girls. This is what people are doing. Exactly the setup that Farles just told you. It looks like this. If you see this defense, you got to feel at the highest level. You know this, this is what's coming. And then you have to just say, I'm going to sit in the pocket. Come after me, can you be contained? You're not going to get to me, right? So that's what you got to do. You see the best players in the world do it. You saw a problem. He did it. You saw Skimbo. You saw Mo. They were the best in the world at staying in the pocket and delivering throws downfield. Right. It's tough. It's, it's tough. It's a tough habit. 
Uh, the other thing you can do is just contain. Uh, so one of these two guys generally will get double teamed. One of the two contains. So say there's no spy. I need to identify that. Neither neither did there, but generally one will. And I could always probably block my uh, tight end to make sure that happens. And once I see that the right side of the screen here is going to get double teamed, well then I know I can roll that way, and right. there's going to be no it. yeah, there's going to be no way that they can break off their block on the contain. So that's the other thing you can do to do that. So that's one way you can beat QB Spy is just to stay in the pocket. Also, Playmaker. Um, Playmaker will destroy 